Hey guys, this is Mike 14. I'll be reviewing the newer TT560 Speedlight on this episode of On The Sea. So when you first go out looking for a flash, uh, most people would recommend that eventually you're gonna have to learn how to use a manual flash anyways. So you should try to just kind of aim to have something where you set your manual light levels uh, as opposed to kind of like the TTL auto fire kind of stuff. I bought the newer TT560 Speedlight on Amazon for $35. Inside the package you'll get a pouch, a manual, the unit itself, and also a stand. So something worth noting is that when you first get this thing, uh, you turn it on and it takes a while to warm up. Also, uh, something I've noticed is that this thing does kind of like, it tends to overheat and because of that, you can take about 20 shots before it starts to get really like, I guess, warm or hot. And then what happens is you gotta wait a little bit in between your shots before, or else the flash just won't fire. Uh, something else worth noting is that this thing actually eats up a lot of battery life. And so if you keep your uh, flash stored, you don't want to store the batteries in there first of all and then second of all you have to keep in mind that you know this thing takes four batteries it's really heavy with the batteries in it and those batteries are not going to last very long at all so on this thing you get your on switch you got your mode button and you got the test button uh, what the mode button does is it either sets it to manual or it sets it to, sets it to two different kinds of slave modes so the first one is just to uh, fire on the first uh, the pre-flash of your uh, light and the second is to set it uh, with synchronized with the second one, I guess. And so with the le level button, this lets you set the intensity of the flash. And so when, you, when I press it like this, it's just gonna put a low flash on it. And then alternatively, if you set it high, I don't recommend doing that at home. <laughs> one of the ace points about this flash is that you can turn it on the hot shoe, you can you can actually, it clicks in order to go to varying degrees. So that's really useful because uh, in some situations you don't want to fire directly at your subject. You prefer to bounce it off the roof, you prefer to bounce it off an area where they might need more illumination. And so on the front of the lens you actually have these two options, one is just to pull out this uh, kind of diffractor and then the other is just kind of this bounce card. In my experience, it doesn't really add much to it, but I haven't really used it that extensively. So because of the fact that this thing kind of takes a while to charge and it does eat up your batteries, uh, you know, after 20 shots, as, as mentioned before, it will start to kind of delay in how long it takes to charge up. And that could be because the batteries are getting more drained or just because uh, the light is overheating. And because of that, it, it kind of feels like sometimes it won't fire because you're kind of just taking photos, you're in a hurry. You don't really think about uh, how long it's going to take to take a picture and you can't ask someone to hold a pose that long sometimes. Attached to the camera, you can use it as a manual flash. It will fire when you press your shutter button as long as the power button is red and that means it's charged up. If you use it as a slave, obviously you will mount it in some place else and then you would need another flash to trigger it. So if you know what you're doing, I think that a manual flash like this could be very, very helpful. Uh, I would recommend looking into possible alternatives, mainly because there are some really big downfalls to this. One is just it takes a while to charge. Second, it eats up a lot of batteries. And so, and then because it just takes uh, AA batteries. So because it takes AA batteries, you're gonna have trouble carrying your kit around with just a whole bunch of batteries with you. Uh, it would be much preferable if it had something rechargeable. So in conclusion, the newer TT560 is an okay flash uh, for what it does. Uh, for this price, $50, you really can't complain that much. But in me personally, I would have paid double for a better flash with automatic function and also just something that would charge better and maybe have a rechargeable battery. Uh, I know I'm starting to add a whole bunch of things to that list, but uh, I really do believe that you should get a higher quality flash. Uh, this will do you just fine though if you need something just that works and if you can work around it then I don't, I don't see how it can't work. I've used it, it looks okay to me and uh, it's really just a matter of convenience uh, having all the other features. So thank you for watching Mike Forte. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments on anything I've said, go ahead and leave a comment in the box below. And of course, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.